Hello, my name is Mr. Dog, and today we're going to look at the Haunch Crow GX deck and expand it. Haunch Crow GX has the ability Rule of the Night. As long as this Pokemon is our active Pokemon, our opponent can't play any tall, special energy, or stadium cards from their hand. So this actually gives us the auto win against many decks like Reggie Drago and Ultra Necrozma, which only play special energy cards. We also have the Unfair GX attack. Our opponent reveals their hands, and we can discard two cards from it. So this is really good in combination with Marnie because we can put them to a 4 card hand and we get to get rid of cards that will help them like supporters or basic energy cards and hopefully they should brick whilst we slowly kill them with Featherstorm. Because our opponent can't play stadium cards they won't be able to counter our silent labs which stops all basic Pokemon in play from having abilities so it means they won't be able to play any Dedenes or Crobats for them to draw cards. We want to go first with this deck so we can evolve the Honchakrow GX and get the lock off as soon as possible. We can actually cheat Honchakrow into play on the first turn using Duskstone. Let's just evolve our Murkrow immediately when we put it into play. Although our opponent can't attach special energies from their hand, we can still get basic energies into play quite easily so we play 4 copies of Crushing Hammers to deal with them. And also Team Flare Grunt which discards an energy from our opponent's active Pokemon. And just in case we do go second and our opponent attaches any special energy or stadium cards or whatever, we play a copy of Farber lets us lost zone special energies, tall cards or stadium cards. This is also good against um, decks like Meloetta, which don't necessarily attach energies from their hand, but they use things like Alice's Sparkle to get energies into play. Okay, so I'm going to keep the introduction short and sweet. Let's go on some gameplay. Okay, so we're going first against Ultra Necrozma. And um, I think this, this should actually be an auto win because they only play special energies. So we'll attach this and use Duskstone. As long as we don't have all the Hunch Crew GXs prized. Okay, cool. Okay, so they should probably just concede now because there's not really anything they could do. And we'll save the Trekking Shoe for next turn so we can see an extra card. I guess they could play a Cancelling Cologne, but I never see that card played at all. Even in Standard, it's not really played. Then, okay. We would have played Cynthia anyway. Okay, cool. Um, don't want to put this lab down. In case they do have, have something like a cancelling clone, do kind of want to dig for an energy, so we'll get the tracking shoes. Discard the silent lab. Team Flare. Not going to be useful. Um, so I think we'll just go for a Marnie. Okay, there we go, there's another energy. I think, oh uh, yeah, there we go, they're just going to concede. Our parents playing Oranguru. Uh, they did have fighting energy from their mulligans, but not really sure what they're playing. We do kind of want to get a silent lab down if possible. So uh, We could actually use the computer search for that. But we'll use the training trainer mail and tracking shoes first, so we could potentially save the computer search. Uh, so do this. I won't grab that, I don't think. No trainer's mail. Get the tracking shoe. Crushing hammer. I will take that. We don't really want to discard those. Silent lab. Okay, uh, that's kind of unfortunate. Don't have a supporter in hand, so we'll get Cynthia. And we'll just computer search for the silent lab. And then we'll desk stone. Okay, there we go, this guy could see, that's funny. Okay, we're going first. I don't really like to see the Sobble in the active because they're playing the Shady Dealings engine, which relies on um, non-basic abilities, which we can't really stop with Silent Lab, which is unfortunate. Um, but at least we have the Dusk Stone and the DCE in hand. And I guess that's fine for now. Hopefully they're not playing something like Ice Rider or Palkia V-Star. They, they only rely on basic energies and um, evolution abilities, so we can't really stop them.
Okay, Jolteon. They actually hit us for weakness as well, so that's pretty scary. Uh, Trainer's Mail. Don't really need any of the those. We'll just get this. We'll just get this and Marnie it to the bottom of the deck. Don't really want anything with Order Pad either at the minute. So just Marnie. And uh, we'll unfair GX. Get rid of the Drizzile and the basic energy. And they won't be able to attach the speed lightning energy in their hand. They won't be able to attach their um, elemental bad driver because they can't penny tools. So they have to attach two basic energies, which could be difficult, especially when we're using crushing hammers on them. I think we just uh, knock out this Sobble. Duskstone, so we can actually evolve this Murkrow, start assessing that, that up maybe. I do kind of want to find the Silent Lab though, so they can't, um, so they can't use their Ziggazagoons to ping it. They could still use their quick shooting Inteleon maybe though. Okay. We're going to attach one energy, but we can use Team Flag Run to get rid of it. As far as I know, they can only attach one energy at a time. Oh, they play their own Crushing Hammer. I actually wasn't expecting that. That's not really something you see, to be honest. Okay. Because we need to find another DCE to get an attack off. I mean, we don't have to find a DCE. We can just play it a bit more slower. Uh, I think we have to go for an N. Could maybe go for the crushing hammer to get rid of their energy. I think we have to go for an end because his hand's pretty dead. I'm going to go for an order pad to try and get a crushing hammer. Tracking shoe. Dusk stone. No, not what we need. Okay, nice. We, have to, we still have to get heads on this Crushing Hammer. Oh man, I don't like that. So Goon Ping, basic energy, and they win the game by knocking us out. Okay, we're fine for now. I guess we'll attach um, the basic energy in case they play something crazy like Enhanced Hammer or Fan of Waves. And I do still want to dig for the Crushing Hammer, so I will Marnie again. Can we get heads please? Thank you. I still haven't found any silent labs yet. They just Okay, so they can finally they can use their quick shooting and teleon to get some damage on me. Got a Manius. Okay, so we can maybe Kabu. Hunch Crow. Trekking Shoes first. You know, we'll, we'll keep this hand because we can maybe get a Crushing Hammer of this. Close to knocking out this Jolteon as well. So I'll probably have to treat this into something else. Okay, now they're doing 40 damage. So I'm probably going to have to think about um, setting up a new um, Hunch Crow.
Let's go Kabu. If we can get a Dusk Stone off this, that'd be pretty nice. Oh, okay. So I, d I don't want to put this down because they probably have access to Guzma because they have a Drizzle in their hand. So all we can really do this turn is just attack them with Everstorm. Okay, crushing hammer. Heads, please. Nice. Okay. Let me finally get this out of the lab. Can we get a dusk stone with this? Okay, nice. Sun lab down in case they have goons. We'll do some more damage. Fail player won't do anything. Hopefully they don't play more than three basic energies. Okay. So I'll go with Cynthia. Start attaching energies to this one. here. Have the team flag up for next turn to remove the energy. So you get with uh, the trekking shoes. Faber, not going to need that in this matchup. Uh, crushing hammer could be good. Oh man, I think that's the final crushing hammer. We'll take that so we can get an attack off. And hopefully they didn't find an energy. Okay, cool. Hopefully we have another um, Dusk Stone in the deck. Oh crap, we don't. Okay, that's kind of bad. I think we have one prized, so maybe we get one off the prize cards if we get a knockout. Probably have to retreat into one of um, these Inteleons or the Drizzile. So I think we just double Guzma onto these uh, onto these dudes now.
can actually still attack me with Thunder Spear. Oh no. I think they actually thought they could use the Zigzagoon there. They couldn't. Okay. Okay, so that's GG's then, because we can just goose them up the other. Um, Jolteon. Wow, that was a long game, but we got there in the end. GG's. Okay guys, that's going to wrap up the video. So this is a pretty good deck to get some easy wins, especially with decks like Reggie Drago being really popular right now, which relies on double dragon energies. But thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!